Hey everybody, this is Kyle with Bring Back the Farm and today I'm going to build some saw horses so that I can build my workbench properly. And the first thing that I'm, I'm going to do is uh, I have some wood behind me, some 2x4s, and I'm going to cut that down to probably 33 inches or whatever uh, the proper length is for saw horses, which I am not quite sure about, but I'm going to try to do it. I found this, this plan in a book at least it has a picture of how to build one and so I'm gonna to try to follow that and we'll see what it, we can come up with together and hopefully it turns out nice so let's get to it
All right guys, so my project is completed. My batteries died about halfway through the project, so you missed out on some of it. But not the crucial parts. I mean, really all I did was, after the video cut out, I pretty much just assembled the whole project together. I had to cut another couple pieces of wood to go over the top and in the middle to kind of add some stability to the project and to the sawhorse, but other than that, you guys didn't miss much. I am going to be building another one, but I won't film it, just because it takes so much longer to film too. But this project took me about an hour. But yeah, that's, that's the, first, uh, the first piece that I had to finish to be able to start on my workbench, which I'm pretty excited about. And I hope you guys learned something from it. I made a few mistakes with, with uh, trying to mark the wood. I marked it wrong a few times. I measured wrong a few times. <laughs> and I cut wrong a few times. So, and I cut most of that stuff out, but even with my, my mess ups, it still was about an hour. I think if I didn't have to, if I used power tools, like saws and stuff like that, I would have finished the project a lot faster. But I wanted to try to hone my skills a little bit with using my saw and trying to figure out the better techniques and actually applying what I'm trying to learn. And that to me is where you really study by faith and by, by works. And so I, I learn by doing and so the faith part of it is just putting your foot out there to try to figure out if you can even do it, not being scared to try it. And then learning by doing is exactly what it means, learning by doing. And so I know I messed up a few times, but I'm okay with that. I am 100% okay with it. And hopefully I'll mess up some more times in the future and I'll learn more from it too. And so I think the second sawhorse should take me a lot less time. I have all the wood still here in the pile that I can use. I'll probably get one more sawhorse out of the wood and then I'm probably gonna have to buy some wood for my table. Another thing, I have been trying out my plane. It works pretty, pretty good, but I find that it goes dull fairly quickly. So I think I'm gonna have to try to sharpen it a few times a day. I noticed that Paul Sellers, that's what he does is he sharpens his his, uh, his planer, his plane, knife, whatever it's called. He sharpens it a few times every project. So I'm gonna to try to find some cheap way to sharpen my plane. And so if you guys have any good ideas, I'd love to hear it. And uh, until next time, I will be working here trying to figure out how to build the next sawhorse and trying to get my pieces together so I can do one big video about how I make the Paul Sellers workbench. And so that should be one video I'm gonna try. It'll be a long video, but you'll be able to see all pieces all in the same video. That's kind of what I wanna to try to do. I think it'd be easier for me when I need to refer back to it on um, pieces of it. It'll probably help you guys out too to know what's, what there is and without having a bunch of stages and parts to it. But thanks for watching. This is Kyle with Greenback the Farm and I hope you guys have a happy new year and uh, be safe out there. Thanks for watching.